All right, everybody, welcome back to another one. This week, we're looking at the paper size options for your Nelco. This should work for just about any other printer. Focusing on the Mac, though, so I'm in Chrome. I have this label here. I'm going to hit print. And first thing you do, obviously, is select the printer. And I could select the size here, let's say four by six. But if I don't have the option here, I need to add it. And in order to add it, in order to add it, so logically you would go into the settings, but unfortunately, if you go into the settings and you pull up the printer, You have your paper sizes here. You don't have the option to add any. Down here is just for adding the device. So the first step is going to be to print. We'll go to print using system dialog box. From this screen, we'll go to paper size and then manage custom sizes. And now we can create a new one. Let's see. We'll call this one. And we'll set the width as two, the height as one. And you can adjust your margins and everything here. I don't really use margins because the printer kind of has a built in. So just click OK. And then we can print. So after you've done that, you've printed, you can reuse that now that you've saved it. So now we have, let's say, another label with the same size. We'll hit print. Select your printer. Click more. And now we have that new size right there, easily accessible. All right. All right, and for the last tip for this video, I'm going to show you how to edit or modify any of these presets you've created for your printer. We we'll go through the same steps. Manage sizes. And then you just click on the one that you want to update and you make any changes. You can also click this gear here to duplicate one. And I recommend always naming it appropriately because once you're in the print section and you have this long list, if you have a bunch of untitled, you have to reference this and it just takes a little bit more time when they all say the same thing. All right, so that wraps up this video. If you guys have any questions, comments or concerns, I'll see you in the comments down below. Otherwise, I thank you all for your likes, comments and subscribes and wish you a happy holidays.